Good evening. Welcome to the 10 o'clock news. I'm Wayne Garcia and I'm Camilla Ortiz. First tonight, some tension leading up to a local high school's graduation ceremony today. Last month, Clackamas High School was defaced with vandalism that the principal and others found racially insensitive. Since that incident, some students involved have been receiving threats on social media. Fox 12's Bridget Chavez joins us live after speaking with a parent of one of those graduating seniors ahead of tonight's ceremony. Bridget. Yeah, Camilla and Wayne, the parent that I spoke with says his son received more than 50 threats. And because of that, he was so concerned for his safety and other parents for their student safety that they caravaned to Providence Park this evening just to make sure everyone got there safely. I'm coming to kill you. Count your days. These are the types of messages some graduates of Clackamas High School have been receiving after participating in a senior prank on May 23rd. Initially, the principal, Nate Muno, said the vandalism was racially motivated because some students brought and spread beans across the front of the school, while others hung Trump campaign signs and stickers. Now, school officials say the beans were following a social media trend and is not connected to a racial group. I absolutely think it was appalling what was done. Don't get me wrong, Ed, in any way. I think it was appalling what they did. But for my son to be getting death threats, is ridiculous. This parent did not want to be identified out of fear of retaliation. He says his son has received dozens of threats. There was another group of kids that went back at, at a different point during the night and then my son, his probably above and beyond was he hung a door hanger, one single door hanger on the door of the school, one hanger, a, you know, Trump door hanger. Tonight, graduates were met by a handful of protesters upset that the students responsible for the vandalism were still able to walk in the ceremony at Providence Park. Just seeing the situation being handled this way where these students are walking today and after promising that they would be held accountable, it just makes me rethink the whole thing. Trinity Perotisano is a sophomore at Clackamas High School and tells me she wants those responsible for the vandalism to be held accountable, but believes the threats are doing more harm than good. I don't wish death upon anyone, and I don't think they should die. I think they should learn and educate themselves on what's going on and how their actions affect us. They don't deserve the death threats. No one does. We did reach out to the school district about that decision to let those students walk in tonight's ceremony, but they said they cannot comment on disciplinary actions. Reporting live in Northwest Portland, Bridget Chavez, Fox 12 Oregon.